Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. The internet is full of claims of foolproof beginner rib recipes using the 3 to one method with three hours in the pit, two hours wrapped in foil, and one hour on the pit covered in sauce. I'm not sure who invented this method, but it's a sure way to ruin your ribs as six hours cooking time is way too long and it dries them out. You may not believe me, so I offer you four supporting viewpoints. One, my good friend Meathead from AmazingRibs.com says, Don't do it! Number two, my barbecue brother and world champion at the American Royal in Kansas City, Sterling Ball of BigPapaSmokers.com is more forceful. He says, I'd like to kill the man who came up with the 3 2, one concept as he's ruined many, many ribs. Number three, I'm almost certain that none of my counterparts of the top 100 KCBS national teams out of 6,000 professional teams in America cook 3 2, one method ribs. And four, I've tried dozens and dozens of rib methods before I came up with my first place method. So the 3 2, one method, you can take my word, doesn't work. I'll explain why in this video and if you really insist on perpetuating the myth of the 321 ribs, I'll show you how to get decent 321 ribs, but they're not going to be as good as my competition rib methods. So keep watching if you want to learn. So the secret to cooking 3 to one ribs and to get it right is not to overcook the meat. So I'm going to have it in a 180 degree smoker to start. I'm going to put it in for 3 hours. And I'm going to put it on the top rack so it does not dry out. So, and a little snack piece here on the top shelf. Let it get happy for about 3 hours at around 180 degrees. Right, the Z grill is steady at 180 and that's the temperature we want to keep it for the next uh, 3 hours get our 3 2, one ribs done the proper way. You want to begin spraying once you see the meat beginning to dry out. So it's starting to dry out now. Spray a little water. Water is just fine. There's no need to do anything else. Just spray some water. It'll be good. We're at about two hour mark. Another hour to go. And we can go ahead and wrap these uh, ribs here. All right, three hours later, we're all set. Cross the set. Pretty good. We sprayed it every uh, half hour, 15 minutes or so. All the pieces are coming off. Because we cook it at 180 degrees, this will minimize any of the meat drying out. We're ready to move to the next phase, which is to wrap in foil now. At the three hour mark, when you cook it at 180 to 190 degrees, you're gonna get this beautiful crust and it's not gonna dry out. This is really kind of the only way to cook the uh, ribs, three to one style, because a lot of the recipes on the internet they tell you to use the same temperature, either 225, 250, or 275. That's way too hot. So in order for you to salvage a 3 to one rib, you really need to cook it at around, around 180 to 190 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous crust. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we do now. We want to be able to foil the ribs now. I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar. I'm going to use a flour sifter. This is an 8 cup flour sifter you can get on my Amazon store. This is how the pros like us use to, to get the nice even coating on it. So, spray a little bit of, uh, I can't believe it's not butter. You can spray some apple juice, some cola, whatever you want. But this works really well. Just give it a dusting of a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little bit of kick and heat for finishing. So, a little drizzle of some agave. And I use agave instead of honey. It's better. I want a lot of first places using agave. Flip it over. And I'll show you guys now a little trick here that uh, we do in competition. So all this uh, bone at the side with the blood here, we really want to clean it up. And uh, this is backyard, but just want to show you what we do in competition. We clean the bone so it's nice and clean. Here, now we should get a black belt trip here. Now we push the, the membrane between the bone to kind of break it so that you get a nice retraction on the rib like so. 
so your ribs will look like a professional rib. You can see here, me doing that here. So, and this is completely optional, but this is kind of how we get the retraction to look so beautiful. When the final rib is done, this is a black belt tip that you can deploy at home. And all you need to do is just push it down between the bone, and you're going to cause the rib membrane on the bone to separate. So you're gonna get your nice, big, beautiful half inch pullback. And that's kind of how, how we are able to get it to pull back so evenly across the entire rack of ribs here. Now in the next phase, right? A lot of times people put it into the pit, it's too hot because we're gonna go two hours, we're gonna go 225. So it's 180 first three hours, 225 the next two hours, and then finally we're gonna cook it uncovered in the pit with a special kind of a sauce, and I'll explain to you when I get to that stage. We'll do one hour in the pit in the third stage. It's hour number five, and we had taken, taken it out of the oven. Let's go ahead and brush off some sauce now. Maybe a Slappy Daddy Championship sauce. Beautiful color. That's a gorgeous color. Now let's do the other side. Before I forget. Ribbit honey. And a little touch of my favorite ingredient. A little bit of cayenne. Testing. Always be sure to brush it so that it evens up. And we'll set it in here. Around 180 to set the sauce onto these uh, 3 to 1 ribs. Three, two, one ribs are ready. Took over six hours to make these ribs, and uh, I'll show you guys some of my technique on how. If you insist on you doing three, two, one ribs, here's how you can do it. You can see here, absolutely gorgeous and uh, beautiful color. Nice uh, thick uh, smoke ring here. Hopefully, it comes out in the camera here. So, uh, just to recap, before I taste it, we did a few things. Number one, we use a special kind of rib. We use Smithfield's extra tender. So those ribs are special because they are vacuum tumbles at the uh, processing plant. So they are actually quite juicy and they already have a solution in the rib. So when I want to do 321 or I have to do 321 ribs, that's the kind of rib I would use. Number two, I'll, I'll show you guys how we trimmed it into a St. Louis cut and how we save some of the smaller pieces for later so that we trimmed off bones number. 10, 11, 12, 13, we left about maybe nine to 10 bones in the main rack here, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. They all have a uniform thickness, so they don't dry out. The thin parts will dry out, so you should cook it differently. So don't do three, two, one on the thin parts, you won't work. Same with the rib tip, I cooked the rib tip separately in the foil. So we only did the three, two, one just on the main slab, about nine to 10 different bones. Uh, we seasoned it, we kept it in the fridge for an hour, and we used a special temperature range. We did three hours at 180, which is very, very low. That's the secret to making the 321 work. When we put it in the oven, we wanted to render the collagen. So the collagen is like a triple helix. The collagen will render nicely for about two hours in the pit or oven. And at 225, the collagen will render nicely without drying the rib out. And then finally, when you put the rib back onto the pit, you notice I use a trick, I use a little bit of honey, the honey is kind of like a sealant, so it seals out the rib so it doesn't dry out so much, sitting another hour in the pit. We also ran the pit at a low temperature of 180 degrees, so it prevents the meat from drying out. So these are the little tips I've used to create a passable 3 to one ribs. Probably not as good as my competition rib, which is done at 275. The reason that you want to do ribs at 275 is because ribs typically are very thin, you want to establish the cross or mala reaction, which is the non-enzymatic pyrolysis of the amino acids on the surface immediately to fuse the rub with the protein. Uh, we typically do that at a higher temperature. I've done it at many, many different temperatures and 275 seems about right. Some teams who cook hot and fast, they do that at 350, 375. The key is to establish a crust. Once you establish a crust, you go to the wrap phase and you want to render the collagen. And you can render the collagen at different temperatures. There's 200, there's a 225 people, 275, 300 people. So all these different camps out there. So I told you, right, everything in barbecue is a three hour argument and Jerry Springer fist fight. So today I'm just gonna dispel the myth of doing three, two, one ribs. Does it work? No, it doesn't, but we'll make it work today. 
just for you. So enough for me talking now. Let me take the bite now. This beautiful rib here. Dang, that's good. So I quickly get CBS competition style. You can see a little bit of uh, liquid on the bone and uh, liquid on the bone drying up. Uh, when you cook competition ribs, we don't cook it falling off the bone. That's not allowed because you lose points that way. So this is a pretty decent rib. I'll show you a couple of tricks here, how to kind of set the membrane on the rib itself. So you guys how to wipe away the, the blood on the end of the bone for competition purposes. And uh, how to give it up or kick it up a notch. It's got a nice hint of spiciness that came from a cayenne. We used the cayenne two times. We used the cayenne during the wrap phase. We also dusted a little bit of cayenne at the end when I put the sauce on. But absolutely, absolutely amazing. I'm just going to have a second bite. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. I'm just amazed. It's really a good rib. Yep. Very good. Excellent. So enough of me talking. Episode is not complete without Mr. Beans. Mr. Beans, you've been very patient. So let me get a piece for the dog. Okay, we have a choice, few choice pieces of Mr. Beans. You ready, Mr. Beans? All right, Beans, uh, no brisket today, but we have something better, I think. We've got you some 3 two, one ribs. I hope you like 3 two, one ribs. All right, Beans is enjoying the ribs. Chowing down on some St. Louis ribs here. Cook 3 two, one style. All right, there you have it. Three, two, one ribs. I hope you guys like this episode and my version of how to do three, two, one ribs, even though I don't use this method. But for my viewers, I do everything for you guys because I love you guys. And I uh, want to do a shout out to my Patreons, helping me keep the lights on on my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the support. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.